What really happened during the recent military coup attempt in Bolivia? How did a plot to overthrow the government of Bolivia unfold? Armored vehicles and soldiers have withdrawn from outside Bolivia's presidential palace following what appears to be a failed coup attempt Wednesday. It all started in La Paz, the capital of Bolivia, when armored vehicles and troops abruptly stormed into Murillo Square. This is no ordinary city square. It's the beating heart of Bolivia's political scene, housing key government offices. It was a shock to the system, a sudden show of military might that signaled the beginning of something ominous. At the center of this storm stood General Juan José Zuniga. He was not just a military leader, he was the orchestrator of this audacious attempt to seize control. Zuniga made it clear that his intentions were to rebuild democracy in the country. A noble aim, one might think, but the method he chose was anything but democratic. However, his plans were thwarted within hours of the military action. The coup leader was arrested, striking a blow to the unfolding plot. It was a swift response, a decisive action that marked the beginning of a counteroffensive. The man who had hoped to rebuild democracy was now under arrest. His plot to overthrow the government foiled, but the military action was only the beginning. The real drama was yet to unfold. As the coup attempt was underway, President Luis Arce was quick to respond. From the presidential palace he addressed his nation, words resonating with resolve and a commitment to democracy. He called upon his people to unite, to stand together in the face of adversity. His message was clear. Bolivians were not just spectators in the unfolding drama but active participants, their unity a bulwark against the encroaching threat. In his address, President Arce made it clear that the rebellious attempts to take the lives of Bolivians will not be tolerated. This was not just a statement to deter the coup plotters but also a promise to his people. It was a promise to protect their lives, their rights, and their freedom. It was a promise to uphold the values of democracy, no matter the cost. The significance of his words cannot be overstated. At a time when the very pillars of democracy were under threat, President Arce chose to stand firm. He chose to face the danger head-on, not with weapons or violence, but with words of unity and resolve. His message echoed through the streets of La Paz, carried forward by the pro-democracy demonstrators who took to the streets in support of the government. It was a rallying cry, a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. It was a testament to the power of unity, a reminder that when the people stand together, they can overcome even the most formidable challenges. But as President Arce knew all too well, words alone would not be enough. Action had to follow. His response to the coup attempt had to be firm, decisive, and swift. And so, he did what had to be done. He announced the appointment of new military commanders, confirming that the rebel military leader, General Zuniga, had been removed. He called for criminal charges against General Zuniga and his followers, a clear indication that those who threatened democracy would face the full force of the law. With these words, President Arts rallied his people. But the challenge was far from over. This was not just about punishing those directly involved, but also about sending a clear message to any other potential plotters. Attempts to undermine Bolivia's democracy will not be tolerated. President Arce's swift actions helped to stabilize the situation, but the country was still on edge. Evo Morales, Bolivia's former president and left-wing leader, also played a significant role in this crisis. Often seen as the country's stalwart, Morales has been a pivotal figure in Bolivian politics for nearly two decades. When the news of the coup attempt broke, Morales wasted no time in making his stance clear. From his base abroad he called on his supporters to take to the streets and demand an end to the assault on democracy. His appeal was met with a surge of popular demonstration, a testament to his enduring influence and the weight his words still carry. The relationship between Morales and current President Arce has not been without its complications. They share a political history with R serving as Morales' finance minister during the latter's presidency. Their paths diverged when Morales was overthrown in 2019 on charges of election rigging, and Ars assumed the mantle of the presidency. Yet, despite their estrangement, both leaders found common ground in their condemnation of the recent coup attempt. It's important to remember that before Evo Morales came to power in 2005, Bolivia was one of the most politically unstable countries in the region. Morales brought a measure of stability, implementing policies that improved the lives of many Bolivians. His legacy, however controversial, has left an indelible mark on the nation's political landscape, 
As General Zuniga warned that Morales would be arrested if he attempted to return to power, it became clear that the former president was still seen as a threat by the military elite. Yet, this did not deter Morales from speaking out, showcasing his commitment to Bolivian democracy. In the face of this crisis, Morales's call to action was pivotal. It rallied the people, reminding them of their power and their right to a democratic government. His influence helped to galvanize the public, leading to a bolstering of democratic will and a rejection of military rule. Morales' intervention was key to bolstering the democratic will of the people. His role in this crisis underscores his enduring relevance and impact on Bolivian politics. In the aftermath of the coup attempt, Bolivia received a wave of international support. Allies of Bolivia were swift to condemn the attempted overthrow of a democratically elected government. Venezuela and Colombia, countries that share strong ideological ties with Bolivia, were among the first to voice their support for democracy, firmly denouncing the coup attempt. They stressed the need for national unity and the upholding of democratic principles, reinforcing their commitment to a peaceful Latin America. Further afield, the United States also expressed concern over the political instability in Bolivia. Calling for calm and restraint, America underscored the importance of dialogue and consensus in resolving the crisis, a sentiment echoed by other nations worldwide. This reaction from the international community not only underscores the global commitment to democratic principles, but also emphasizes the potential implications of political instability in Bolivia for the wider region. Looking ahead, the thwarted coup attempt raises questions about the future of political stability in Bolivia a country that has seen more than its fair share of political upheaval. Bolivia now grapples with the task of reaffirming its commitment to democracy and strengthening its institutions. The coup attempt has highlighted the fragility of the democratic process in Bolivia, but it also provides an opportunity for the nation to reassess and fortify its democratic structures. In this context, the support of Bolivia's international allies will be crucial. As Bolivia navigates the path to political stability, the rest of the world must stand ready to offer support, fostering an environment conducive to dialogue, reconciliation, and democracy. As Bolivia moves forward from this event, the world watches, hoping for a peaceful resolution. So, what can we take away from the recent military coup attempt in Bolivia? It's a complex tale of power, resistance, and a nation's unwavering commitment to democracy. We saw a coup unfold led by General Juan José Zuniga, which was swiftly quelled by the decisive actions of President Luis Arce. The president demonstrated resilience and leadership, calling upon the Bolivian people to unite and defend their democracy. Arce's swift appointment of new military commanders underlined his determination to maintain control and restore stability. The role of Evo Morales, Bolivia's former president and statesman was pivotal in rallying support for the government and strengthening the democratic will of the people. The international response was of utmost significance, with nations like Venezuela, Colombia and even the United States calling for calm and the protection of democracy. In the face of adversity, Bolivia has once again proven its commitment to democratic principles and the rule of law. While the situation in Bolivia remains complex, one thing is clear. The people of Bolivia and the international community stand firm in their support for democracy. At last, if the video striked your brain, convey your acknowledgement via comments below.